Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 28th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Um, I'm not sure if we've ever heard of uh, the phrase uh, catch-up sell-off exists. I've heard of a catch-up rally, but if you take a look at Muni performance versus the Treasury market, that seems to be what happened. Can you give us some details about how the week went? Sure. So we continue to see volatility in the market this week with outflows of about another just under $2 billion. But it seemed like the focus of the markets in general seemed to be on the earnings reports and the GDP number, which came in actually slightly higher than expected at 2.6% for the third quarter. But in our market, more specifically, treasuries rallied across the curve. As of this morning, anywhere from 15 to 30 basis points tighter on the week, whereas MMD was about 25 basis points wider in the 10-year and 35 basis points wider in the 30-year part of the curve, which brought the 30-year ratio back behind 101%, again, as of this morning. But um, as we looked at the new issue calendar this week, it was pretty busy, about $10 billion in total. BAM had a nice week, pricing about $228 million across 16 series and 10 states. And just kind of a few deals to highlight from this week. The first one being $51 million City of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which was a deal bought by City. There was a $33 million Unified School District of Harvey County, Kansas, which was bought by Wells. And then one deal from the negotiating calendar was 21 million Board of Education of Cloverleaf School District in Ohio, which was priced by R.W. Baird. Yeah, so those are great points. Uh, as we've spoken on, on this uh, report in the last couple of weeks, it was two consecutive weeks of more than $10 million of new issue volume. That was the most the market had seen in several months. Um, so not surprising that, that some of its capacity to absorb those new deals would be tapped a little bit. Um, next week's calendar is much lighter. There is uh, on the economic news calendar, we're expecting the FOMC to meet. Uh, so there uh, is some expectation of economic news. I think issuers are, are staying away from volatility associated with that. What are you seeing? The BAM calendar's uh, got a couple of interesting transactions on it. What do you see? For sure. So the total calendar for next week is still looking to be about you know, a little bit less than $3 billion. Um, But one deal that we are definitely going to focus on here is the $98 million City of Kankakee, Illinois taxable transaction, which is being priced by Bernardi. And also on the BAM insured calendar for next week, $210 million of project revenue bonds for Eastern Michigan University scheduled to be priced by Barclays. And we'll watch over the next couple of weeks how the prospects for volatility in the market impact the calendar. As we said, FOMC is this week. The following week, there's the election. So I think issuers will probably steer clear for a couple of weeks, and then we'll see uh, another rebound in volume going into the end of the year. So we'll keep uh, posted on that. Thanks for joining us, Morgan. Have a great week.